on the Pico locomotive stripped down a couple of screws at the back remove the back portion the screws used for the front and back portions are just that little bit longer than the majority of the screws used for the rest of the uh, assembly the um, cylinder molding just comes off I'd previously undone the two little screws down here which hold that cylinder molding on uh, and once you've lifted those two off then what you're left with is the motor block uh, for now I've left the uh, motion on there uh, it's just a push fit in this case on this uh, particular model um, not hard to, to remove uh, the motion and uh, then could have done that much earlier just for these things that look like nuts but they're just a push fit on the other side I think somebody may have been attempting to refit a motion uh, because there are some nuts glued in uh, and it was been to refit as soon as you got the motion off that allows you to detect any attachment to a motor and if we take the the same screws that held the front and back on also hold the top of the motor casing on and if we look inside there you find a nice substantial motor uh, brass worm pinion uh, driving the front and rear axles so the middle axle is the one that's not geared onto it the front and rear ones are geared on uh, but I note something there I'm able to turn them and I can turn it is does that mean that the removing of the top the removing of the top casing yes had freed off all tension that was clamping the motor things together once you have the top casing screwed on it holds everything nicely in place so the motor can be lifted out because it's uh, got wires which are just a friction fit against there so it's easy to just lift the motor out if you did want to do it there is plenty of grease in here and you can also see the pickups from the axles from the front and rear axles as well I don't know if the center axle has pickups on it at all I suspect from the freedom with which I'm able to move it that it doesn't have any pickups so you just have it from those uh, front and rear there I guess if you wanted to at this stage you could consider whether you wanted to add larger wheels and rebuild your motor block with uh, a larger wheel set as an 040 or a 060 uh, you couldn't make it much larger with the space in between the axles uh, but there we have it then the uh, I can take that off there as well the motor block of a Pico locomotive and a quick look inside so you can see how the thing is driven and uh, that's the core of what we are using to build up to make our other locomotive whatever that might be